Hey guys, welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 8, The Ocho. <laughs> oh yeah. So, I did a little bit of a stream yesterday, um, and we started working on this. It just, it seemed high time that we kind of tied everything in. Uh, so what we did is we borrowed uh, some inspiration from what uh, Bam and them have been doing here. And we kind of moved it into here, uh, added our own little kind of twist to it. Um, in the corners here, we've got just some mushroom lights, as you can see. It's very nice. Um, and then just some prismarine. I was trying to think of like what, like what back color, backing color kind of thing. You can see like it's got the gold there. Um, one problem though is this here, right? So if if we put, if we make that gold, it pokes through here, but if we make it prismarine, <laughs> it pokes through there. So I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. Um, one option would be to come through and take all these metal pieces out and replace them with prismarine. All the no, we're not going to do that. Um, we do have some issues up in here because this is going to continue through to here. Uh, it's going to turn and go that way uh, to Herpner's portal. And then um, this portal's gonna go, so it's gonna come through and turn and come to this portal. Uh, so this portal, if we pop through. Ugh. Okay, and so that is right there, as you can see. Uh, so we, also during the stream, we did some work here and then some work on these stairs, just c trying to like get everything nice and tidy and clean and cohesive <laughs> i guess you could say um all the the stuff is cleaned up out of here so you could, all the all the, the the shulkers and all that stuff these are still here because i don't i don't think i'm 100 percent done with this area um some people have suggested dropping chains from the ceiling and then putting like a, a catwalk type deal uh to get onto the sub um I don't know that that would really work because you could see how high the ceiling is. Um, something we could do is possibly extend that out and then extend out a walkway here. Or we could just pop open here, just put a little walkway out, and then maybe try to make it look like it's got hinges <laughs> or something. I, I don't know. I know. We'll figure that out. But what we're going to start with today is in the neater netter. up in here so like i said this portal has to go um although i mean i could leave i could just rename this uh xb starter and then put you know this will be xb base or i mean it's gonna be in the middle of the path it's just gonna be kind of a eyesore um and then one of the issues we have is this guy so we're gonna have to figure out where to put this guy um part of me is thinking maybe up in here somewhere so this will continue around. Oh, I don't have many of those. Uh, we're gonna need quite a bit of those. So that will continue around up through this kind of area place. And then at some point it's gonna turn and go that way. And so we gotta kind of figure that out. Um, I'm digging it though. Like this place looks awesome. I was kind of thinking about doing something in these areas. So you see we got this square here. Um, something we could do is this part here. Do we have any of that on us? We do. Uh, so we could, we could make this, this part wider, right? All through here. Like so, and then through here, obviously. And then that way it's like an actual three wide walkway through. Uh, do we have any more of that we have? Yes. Sweet. So that'll just come through there. That'll come through there. You see what I'm going with. And then in this area here, maybe we could do something in, you know, in here. Maybe some, some life, possibly. And then that way, because like this side, you know, it's pretty well full. It's got some stuff going on. This side, it's a vine. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. Like we need, we need something to like kind of you know fill this area out. 
So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Just like a little, little areas on each of these corners just to kind of bring some life to the area is, is basically what I have in mind. Um, we'll have to see exactly how that, you know, translates to actual things that happen. Uh, so let's get that in there. We're obviously going to need some more of these. I'm probably going to have to go buy some more deep slate because I use so much deep slate. <laughs> Everything is deep slate, but we had enough to do that. Okay. And so, like I said, these little squares, possibly something in there. Uh, this side here, we could probably get this side pretty well done and at least figure out where it's going to turn down here because it does have to turn. And I'm not really worried about keeping any of this. I have so much of this stuff already. Okay. And it's going to have to go higher, isn't it? So over here, you'd see the, the ceiling comes in. It's perfectly level at the same level. Here, the floor actually drops down. Here, <laughs> the floor is going to stay level. And the ceiling is going to drop. Well, actually, you know, we No. No, we're going to drop the ceiling down. And so it'll probably be right about this level here. And so we do got to figure that out. But this, this is definitely going to come this way. And then there's a guy up there too. And that should be... Wait. So this one will come like that. And then there's going to be another one right up. Ugh. We do have to be careful just because lava. But it sh we should be okay. We do have some fire resistance. So hopefully it's, you know, <laughs> it's not too much. Um, No, let me up. Okay. We got it. Oh, perfecto. So that comes like that. I think that's going to work. So... Part of me wanted to put uh, the tunnel, that tunnel, straight through. But the problem is, is if you're coming this way looking for, like, my base or Hypnos, the portal kind of blocks that tunnel, so there's a good chance you're not going to see it. Whereas if you're coming in, you're going to catch that tunnel, right? You're going to see it right there, and you're going to be like, oh, okay, maybe it's that way. Well, so far, so good, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm working with so far. Um... This, I was hoping, was going to be an odd number. So there'd be like a, you know, like a, either a, th a three block space or a one block space just to stick this guy into. Uh, but as you can see, it is a two block space, which is a little unfortunate. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll just bring him down here somewhere and just like stick him in the wall up here or something. Uh, I mean, I guess we could go behind and put him behind there. I mean, it's it's Hypno's Villager. So I don't want to put it, you know, somewhere weird. <laughs> uh, and he was already stuck in a wall. So we might as well just put him back in a wall. Um, this here, I'm not going to bother with, like, filling it in or anything. We're just going to kind of cover it over. It's whatever. Um, it turns out, though, this portal is actually the perfect size. I thought during stream that I made it an even number, but I made it an odd number, which means it was meant to be, right? Like that's all it could possibly, oh, I don't have any more of those. Okay, uh, so we're gonna have to get some more of those. Uh, we do need to figure out how to go about ending the tunnel. Obviously there's gonna be some more of these stairs going across there, uh, but this corner, now, well, the way I, I I have it currently for Herpner's portal, he's got a little dinky baby portal. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. Uh, <laughs> which we can make bigger, obviously, and then pull this back and put it differently. Um, I don't know how it's going to look with just the little baby portal, but we can, you know, we can figure that out. That's kind of why I'm, think, you know, looking at this one. Because this one's not done yet, so we can obviously try and figure out something. Um, I do think with the, the guys like that, that that should come like that. And then maybe like that. And so we get the little corner deals uh, here. 
which means that has to come out. And so this, okay, so that needs to go. There's no reason for that to be there. And so that would go something like that. And Blackstone Stairs. And so if we did it the same way we've been doing all the corners, how is that going to look? So we've got those deals in there. Now, part of the problem, as you can see, is that. But is that really a problem? <laughs> so if we did it that way, this would end up coming across. Oh, no. No. You mother... How? <laughs> How does it end up falling that way? When there's... No, whatever. Whatever, Minecraft. What? Oh. Okay, we need to get rid of that one. Oh, Minecraft. <laughs> whatever. Uh, that needs to be changed. So let's go ahead. We're just going to... Oh, this is going to be... Oh, no. Okay, so this is going to end up being, like, right next... Like, it's it's all going to be attached. Oh, that's not ideal. But I, I honestly... Like, I can't think of another way to do it. Oh, whatever. Just whatever. <laughs> okay. And so that's basically how that would be. Again, there's going to be some stairs going across there. And then we need to get those stairs going across there. Oh, am I not? Oh, oh no. I'm a little shorty lumpkin. Ugh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I still kind of jump. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so that's how that could be. So if we decided to do it this way, we could do the exact same thing for Herpner's. Uh, I mean, it's it's not bad. Obviously, we need the, the bits in the sides, uh, the, the prismarine in the sides. But other than that, I feel like it's okay. I mean, we can't move the portal. The portal has to be where the portal is, right? So, <laughs> we're kind of... The only thing that can really move is the tunnel. But I don't think it really needs to. Went ahead, made the portal a little bit bigger. Uh, the same as mine, or well, the same with mine. <laughs> uh, I just widened it a little bit, just so it kind of goes off to the sides there. I think it looks a lot better. Instead of seeing the obsidian back there, you see actual portal particles. Um, I don't know what this guy's looking at. What are you looking at? Is he looking at the horses? Are you trying to ride a horsey? <laughs> um, but... To signify that this is Hypnos, I went ahead, went over to Hypnos, uh, grabbed some mushroom block. I want to see about kind of fading this in a little bit. Um, so that, oh wow, that is, <laughs> that is, that is quite the difference there. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully this turns, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Hopefully it turns out okay. Um, so basically what we want to do is kind of maybe not that much. Uh, I don't have. Okay. So we basically want to kind of like blend, like put them in together so that, I mean, that looks, that looks super janky. Uh, but I think you, you, you understand <laughs> what it is I'm going for maybe. Uh, so it would go, Uh, let's use silk touch. Just something to kind of make it look like it's fading in. I mean, we don't want it like an exact grid pattern. Oh, dang. Just something to kind of fade into, you know, not really fade, but tr just transition. That side definitely looks better than that. <laughs> Obviously. All right. So I've been thinking about this area here. And I think I have an idea of what to do. We're going to give it a shot and see what happens. <laughs> because, you know, that's how we do round these parts, right? We just, we give things a shot and see what do. So we're going to have a deal like that. 
I'm thinking. I'm thinking like th this. This may completely and totally change. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so what I think we're gonna do is something like that, and then we've got some some walls. And so what we're gonna do is just alt. Oh nope, that's that's not right. Okay, okay, okay. To the fair. Okay. I don't. Why is a hoe <laughs> the best thing to to harvest a light? That's that's what I want to know. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, I think what 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 we could do is a little something like this, right? And then if we do those, obviously we'll have to get into the into the ceiling and and finish it off up there. But I just thought it would be something kind of cool because that's tall, right? Like it's going from the floor to the ceiling. So it would kind of be cool to have something that kind of adds. Although this, this is no, this is not good here. I was thinking that would be kind of cool. Just, you know, tie in more of the sandstone, but no, that's not a thing that we're going to do. I think we're going to tie in more of that. And would it be better to have stairs going all the way around? Because I kind of liked this part of it. Right? So we do that, and then we've got... No, that's deep slate. Uh, ha. Huh. So if we did this, that could be a thing. We could even do this. And then put... I don't know if we'd use these or other ones. Something like this. Just trying to get an idea of how this might look. And then we have... All right, so there we've got tinted glass. We want regular glass. I could have swore. Aha. Okay. So we've got regular glass. Do we have... Oh. Um... Aha. Perfect. There we go. I know I blocked that thing. It's fine. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so if we did something like... Oh, that's going to... Oh, that's going to look like Dookie. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, it, it might not look too bad still, right? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. That's a no. Dang it. I was really hoping that was going to look good. If it didn't connect to absolutely everything, um, that would be cool. I'm a little torn. Um, <laughs> I really like it. So what I did was I took the shape, the basic shape of this. Right? So you can see it comes out on the corners, goes in in the middle, right? And so that's what this does. It goes, comes out on the corners, goes in in the middle. Um, and so I, I basically just kind of took inspiration from this shape and put it here. And this was my initial idea. Was to do something like that. Staggered, staggered lamps and all that stuff. But then I was, you know, like, is that too much orange in the middle? Not enough around the outside. Because I was trying to play off the orange there, right? But it's a lot of orange. <laughs> it's a lot of orange. And so my other idea was to do something like this. But I feel like it's a little plain. It's a little bland. It's a little bleh. Right? Right? So I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Um, I like them both. I don't really like one more than the other. Although this one, it kind of pops more, right? Like it's, it's got a bit more life to it. Whereas that one, like I said, it's just a bit bleh. <laughs> bleh. Um, I did bring the sandstone down into here. I thought that looked pretty, pretty spiffy. That way it's going from sandstone into sandstone. Um, and plus it pulls the sandstone down, which we needed, but we also needed to pull the dark, like the darker blocks up, right? So that's kind of the idea behind that. It pulls the, the, the colors together a bit more. 
Um, it doesn't over here, but I think it's I think it's okay. I think this area is turning out quite nice. Um, this goes down into the open nether, so you can see open nether danger. I'll color that at some point and make it glow just so people know. Um, still got to put something back here. I think I'm going to do what I did in the overworld, and, except for maybe come back a block. So like in here, I will put some black concrete. And then around on the sides, I'm going to have a way to get around because that goes off to the mega taiga. Or the... What do they call it now? It's like giant tree taiga or s something silly. Um... It's a mega taiga. <laughs> let's just let's just be honest, okay? But I I want to know what you guys think, so I'm gonna leave these here. Um, let me know. This will be we'll call this pillar A, okay? And this will be pillar B. And you let me know which one you like the best. You guys will be the deciding factor. If you see someone already voted for pillar A, just put a thumbs up on it. And then if you see that somebody voted for pillar B put a thumbs up on that right and then we don't get like a bunch of spam comments you know pillar a pillar b that sort of thing um just helps keep everything nice and clean although you know like a bunch of comments isn't necessarily a bad thing <laughs> all right so like i said I'm, i think i'm just gonna leave this um see what you guys say about it i i'm honestly i could go either way <laughs> Um, I, I do still think this one's a little, just a little kind of bland. So maybe there's something we could just do with that one to make it, a, 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 you know, a bit more. Um, this guy, I just went ahead and stuck him in here. Um, I couldn't figure out like a decent place to put him. And so I figured that was probably just as good as anything. Um, but, um, as I mentioned before, we do have a bunch of work happening around the house and it's hard to find time in between super loud construction noises to actually record. And so, uh, <laughs> I do have to end it here because yeah, it's just, it's one of those things like you're, you're sitting there waiting for an hour for five minutes of silence <laughs> and it's, it's not fun. Um, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the episode and I'll see y'all next time.